Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Ripe Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. And we read on five energies every week. This is for the week of April 6th through the 12th, the 5th through the 12th, 5th yeah. through the 11th. 5th through the 11th. Mm -hmm. It gets so confusing with the solar eclipse. It's the solar eclipse. It is. Yes. And then you're all fuzzy brained. Yes. So we read on five energies. We, oh, you're, you're going to see it. Yeah. If, if you live where I live, we're going to have a four minutes and 14 seconds of total eclipse. And it, and the whole thing takes about two hours to watch it, to do the whole deal. I'm not going to see it here. I've seen some lunars. I'm in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, we read on five energies every week. Mm -hmm. um, body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden for the for the eclipse. Ooh. Let's see if the cards, if the crystals burst in flames or anything. For I I live where I can. I'm going to sit out on my front porch with my chair. I've already found out exactly where the sun will be at that time on that day, and I ordered my little glasses so that I won't hurt my eyes. Very good. So I can keep reading stones for y'all. Man, this is this is the month of intuition. This I've had this I've had this so often recently. The spirit in the third eye. Yeah, quite a few times already. This time. no, that's a lot more than I've seen it recently. So spirit's really waking up. Yes. Okay. Body. A change is afoot. A change <laughs> is afoot, and I think. You know, this is, a, okay, it feels like it's almost more of a part of you is going to be willing to come closer to yourself. Mm -hmm. else There's like this piece of you, maybe like, like say an ugly piece of you, a, a piece of you you haven't wanted to look at that you're going to bring in from the cold. That's what it feels like. Body, mind, like if this, this is sort of an eclipse card, isn't it? Yeah because she's looking into the um she's scrying in the water right mm -hmm. she's scrying in the water with all this information from you know the stars coming down and this is really about new inspiration new hope this is about uh grounding in the energy of the of the energy grounding the energy of heaven into the earth right both mm -hmm. physically and intuitively body mind mm -hmm. spirit is like the answer is within. The answer is within. Yes. You have the answer. It's like Dorothy at the end of Wizard of Oz. You've always had the power. Okay. Body, mind, spirit. Grounding, which will give you enthusiasm and the energy to start something new. Mm -hmm. Body, mind, spirit, grounding. And then clarity. You know what I, I'm, sometimes what I get from this card, it's almost like, Everyone has got an opinion. It's like, you know what? I don't really, I mean, I could bother myself with defending it, but I don't really have to. Mm -hmm. I, I've got the high ground. It's like, oh, this one says that. And that one says, that. It's like, I don't really care because like I'm here and here. So mm -hmm. it's like, have your opinion. That's really nice. You know, I, I've got things to do. Mm -hmm. go about it. Mm. Well, what can I say? I once again, like I said, I've been seeing this so much in the past couple months. <clears throat> the throat, the uh, the spirit showing up in the throat chakra, and what it means is your intuition's live and running wild, and you can see around corners. You you have great insights into everything that's happening around you, and it's a great time to deal with that. I'm going to go over here to restate, which is. That's your clarity. That's the clarity stone. And it's in restate. And it's saying one of the problems you have is that your dilemma, you're not having any major dilemmas. It's not so well defined that you can say it's obviously this or it's obviously that. There's a whole lot of other stuff that's simmering below the surface. And you're dealing with it because your body says you're in the in the past. That's the uh, fire is the uh, position on here shamanistically that means the south the past your ancestors this life or past lives 
And when you get this, it says you're embodying your past. You're bringing it up. You're making it whole. You're coming to terms with it. And your mind is in a perfect place. Air is like swords. It's like thoughts. And when your mind is in the air, it really likes it. And your thoughts are all important. And they're very clear because they're not getting any kind of mixed messages. But the best stone for us this week, and I got to feel this has something to do with the eclipse. The grounding stone, even though it's the littlest stone in this bunch, it's in three spaces. It's in go for it, true, and water. And when it's in go for it, it means um, all that all is now aligning with your values. When it's in true, it means you're seeing things clearly. And the best of all, when a grounding is in the water, it says grounding changes are settling into long-term patterns. Yes. So this apparently that's true because we keep getting this thing where we're seeing around corners. We just have to learn to trust it and not be afraid of it and to use our minds to tell it where we want to be. This is going to be a wonderful week. Lots of clarity is going to come to people. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So blessings. blessings to everyone. Bye.